Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dragon Quest. Uh, let's see, where were we at the last time? Oh, we're right near the altar. Okay. Onwards we go. That was real quick getting back in. Ooh, look at this thing. Oh, pfft. I wasn't expecting the treasure chest there, to be honest. I love it when, ooh, come on. I love it when I find just random chests. Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. Aye, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie, get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? Oh my god. Did I just make Rainbow Road? Oh, that's gonna be annoying to follow. Better get the horse out. That's uh, definitely an interesting way up there. I think it just went wherever it felt like. made of rainbows. It's beautiful. Looks like it's finally time for our date with Destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. <laughs> that looked like a horrible stepping animation. Oh my god, where the heck am I? I'm really surprised it didn't make me at least walk a little bit of the road. Put me more into, uh, hey, this is actually happening. Superior medicine. Did what do something? Do it again? Oh. I didn't see anything, but I wasn't looking. You might be able to uh, use this well to get back to the first forest. Yeah, not right now, because this is definitely where we're supposed to be, and I don't want to have to run back. A file of Yggdrasil dew. Some broken branches. Some roots. Now I'm up in the tree branches. Lunaria. This is a mushroom. Nope, it's a leaf. Wait a minute. Aren't leaves the lives of people? So wouldn't that lead me to believe that picking a leaf off the tree actually kills them? Well, that sucks. Well, think about it. When they die, the leaves fall off the tree. Oh my god, it's the Master Sword. So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It's also a sword. It's the source of all life. It's not exactly going to be small now, is it? Mm. It's so fascinating. I'm sort of scared, but I want to touch it. Ah! <laughs> <gasps> oh! 
Well, that's not very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. Uh, you probably deserved it. Let's be re uh, real I here. I so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. Her holiest of hollies? After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The sword of light. Now, Maddy, it's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. Alright, I'm gonna be real here, too. I'm a little bit worried that the actual big bad hasn't shown up yet. To the fact that I am half tempted to think he's in our party somewhere. I'm just calling it now. Hopefully I'm wrong. Oops. Ignore that. Nope, they definitely do. And I looked over and saw it. Okay, not in our party. <laughs> Damn you, Jasper. How did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize? I was following you all along. <laughs> what was that? Now, now, that was a shield. Princess, such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? <laughs> uh oh, what's going on? Can't move. If you can't move, then how'd you, you know, move? Now, trip. Tremble with gratitude. Your sacrifice shall pave the way for my ascent to glory. All right, I'm confused. Do you know you're the bad guy? All of you on your feet. The tree of life shall be your place of death. Do you know you're the bad guy, or do you think you're doing a good thing? I'm confused. Your journey ends here. Wait a minute. Okay. Um. So with that, uh, I need to follow orders on everyone. So how am I supposed to break this? Alright, spells, mid heal, squelch, tingle, buff, whoosh, swoosh, whack. Oh, which one is this? Reduce spell resistance. Prevent enemies from using magic? Let's try that. Okay. Decelerate, accelerate. Ooh. Oh, God. 
God, none of these are, none of these are good. Sobering slap? No. I probably, here, let me swap the line up, actually get you out for you, because I'm pretty sure that might be what's uh, happening here. Squelch, cures ally, cures party members, summon razor sharp icicles, pierces, dedazzle, cures an ally, whack, drain magic. Form a barrier that protects a single party member. Build a barrier that protects a single from reflect. Significantly reduces the defense of a single enemy. Slightly reduces defense. Reduce the spell resistance. Puts a single enemy to sleep. Oh god. I don't think any of these are good. Do you have any good abilities? Lift Curse, Automatically Restore, Passes on some MP. So you have a spell that, that gets rid of enemies MP. Drain Magic? Let's try that. Okay, not usable. What do you got? Nothing. Alright, do I have anything? Snooze. That's all I got. All right, no idea. So I'm gonna set you to fight wisely. I'm just gonna set everybody to fight wisely. See if they can somehow figure out. Huh, I don't think I'm supposed to deal with him at all. I can't get through that aura. What? What is it? You have to break the orb. It's a power like of which we've never seen. Could he be? Surely not. Oh, baby girl. Oh. I need, to, I need to calm down. Hey. Hey. You're being, a, you're being a bad girl when you're all wild up. You want to be a good girl. You want to be a good girl. A baby girl. <laughs> so this is the heart of Yggdrasil. Whosoever controls it, controls the world. Or so they say. Hey, hey, hey. Not Give me one just a second. step further, Jasper. Hmm? <laughs> now you see it with your own eyes, sire. He is no longer himself. The darkness has him entirely in its thrall. How long he has deceived us, I do not know, but deceive us he has. Jasper is a traitor to Heliodor and to the world. <laughs> Confess, scoundrel. Just how cheaply did you sell your soul? On second thought, spare me your wretched excuses. In the name and presence of his majesty, I pronounce you guilty. Prepare to face your punishment. Hmm. 
You have served me well, Hendrik. Y y Your Majesty, what is the meaning of this? It's the king. I don't like him. I like Hendrik. Maybe it's not the king. It's the devil. My dear Jasper, it seems you have snared us a luminary. Very impressive. It is an honor to serve you, as always. <laughs> Lord Mordigan. He is ugly. Oh, so that was it. The king was... He was Mordigan all along. Hmm. Does that mean you can reach through and grab the sword? Now, Luminary, you are in my power. And soon, your power will belong to me. I don't believe you. Are you going to fling me through the barrier? Did he just steal my soul? He just stole my soul. The key that unlocks Yggdrasil's heart. <gasps> and this blade is the fabled sword of light. Smash it. fitting for the Lord of Shadows. Oh, he's burning it. <laughs> oh, why why would you put an eyeball on it? Almighty Hill, source of all life. Growing? Oh God! No, this can't be happening. You're telling me. Oh god, it's actually falling. That that happened. Wait, I'm falling into the water? I'm drowning! What's the matter, dearie? Can't you sleep? Nope. 
No, oh god, I spoke. You're still upset about your little fight with Gemma, eh? She started it. She hit me for no reason. All I did was draw eyebrows on Sandy. <laughs> Oh god, Look at I'm this British. great big lump she's given me. I see it. Or Australia. And I saw the one on I'm not her sure. Head too. You gave her that, didn't you? Yeah. Now you listen to me, my lad. There'll be plenty of times in your life when people upset you and you feel like lashing out. No matter how much it hurts, and no matter how much you want to hurt them back, you don't go looking for revenge. You do what's right. I, I want to be friends with Jebber again, Mum. What should I do? Why, you talk to her, of course, you big silly. Ask her what she was feeling and why she did what she did. Try to see things from her point of view. Once you've done that, the rest is easy. You just smile and hold out your hand. Oddly simple. <laughs> That's my boy. Now, time for bed. Night, night, Mum. Night, night, son. Don't you worry about a thing now. It'll all be all right in the morning. Good night. Sleep tight, child of Yggdrasil. The sun, it is sleeping, and the night is still. The stars, they watch over you with twinkling eyes to ward off the darkness till dawn arrives. Have you found him yet? Not yet, Master. Our forces have scoured the four corners of the world, but the Luminary is nowhere to be found. Do we get He's flung dead. back in time again? Good. If that is the case, then this world is mine. I think we got flung back in time again. Somehow. Mordigan hath played his hand. The game is all but won. A shroud of deepest darkness has eclipsed the shining sun. The shadows glimmer tiny specks of light. Faint, flickering flames that rage against the coming of the night. How can such sparks of hope remain when darkness rules the land? Now evil reigns supreme. Who has the strength to take a stand? In search of hope. Oh god, do I get a new party altogether? Wait, all the trees are burning? Was there a war I'm not familiar with?
you did in fact fall when Yggdrasil did. Hi, Dave. Sylv! Sylv! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Sylv! Stay with me, Sylv! Oh, there you are. You all right, Sylph? No, no, I am not. Oh, oh sure, Davy, honey. I, I, I was just getting a little air. Being cooped up in that cabin was driving me crazy, you know? Oh, come on, Sylph. Cheer up, will ya? I don't think I can take much more of this moping. I think you're gonna have to. That day... When Mordegon, there was nothing I could do. He was just too powerful. I thought it was the end for me, for all of us. But this, this is worse than death. To wake up and find everybody gone, and the world consumed by darkness. Everybody gone? Does that mean that? I'm sorry. But I just, I can't do this. I know I should feel lucky to be alive, but, but without the others, I'm nothing. Nobody. Right. That's enough of that. Huh? Smack! Have you lost your bleeding marbles? Since when were them mates of yours the types to let some Lord of Shadows numpty get the better of them, eh? How about you have a bit of bleeding faith in them like you used to? Or did you think saving the world was going to be easy or something? Definitely easy. <sighs> oh, Duffy, darling. You're right. <clears throat> and if you ever if smack me again. If a thing like me was able to get out of that tangle with Mordegon alive, then the others must have done too. And here I am feeling sorry for myself instead of getting out there and trying to find them. What would Veronica and Eric say if they saw me like this? <laughs> That's more bleeding like it. It's good to have uh -oh. you back, me old mucker. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good to be back, believe me. Now, enough chit chat. It's time for action. We need to make land at the nearest port and find out just how much of a mess the world is in. And once we've done that, we can Paper make a coral. start on fixing part? it. Sounds like a plan, Sylv. Nearest harbor to here would be over in Gondolia. I'll plot a course right away. That sounds just perfect, honey. Anchors away! Hoist the mainsail! Gondolia, here we come! <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Off we go. Hopefully we can find the rest. Poor Gondolia. Hard to believe this used to be the busiest, most bustling trading port in the whole wild world, ain't it? I mean, it ain't a surprise or nothing, uh, but when a uh, lively place like this falls on hard times, well, it's just sad, that's all. Still, no use moping, I suppose. Come on, Sylv, let's have uh, a mooch around and see what the locals have got to say for themselves. Try speaking with the townspeople. This is the guy. Por favor, you must be careful. The beastly boys, they see you are a traveler and they attack you immediately. Sabido? Already they steal the knapsack of a man who just arrived in town. I see him walk to the piazza after it happened. He looks so, so sad. P 
Chiasa. I think this. Alright. It literally is just about running around talking to people in it. Oh, is it this guy? Bad day? Hmm? Don't worry, honey. It happens to us all. Hmm? Oh. You're one of those minstrel types, are you? Look, if it's money you want, you better go and hassle someone else. I haven't got a penny to give you. Sorry, darling. No can do. It's against my policy to leave people all alone. They look as dumb in the dumps as you do. Keeps them from jumping off. Look, why don't you just tell me what's on your mind? A problem shared is a problem halved. Hmm? That's better. Now we can talk properly. Silvando. Entertainer extraordinaire at your service. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, my name's Tetsu. I'm a blacksmith from Hotto, though I haven't been back in a long old while. I'll tell you my story if you really want, but I'm warning you, it doesn't have a happy ending. Not all stories need to. After all those years away, I thought it was time for me to finally head home, see how my mother was doing, you know. But then the minute I set out on my journey, Yggdrasil fell. That just made me even more desperate to get back, of course. I was so worried about her. I managed to make it as far as Gondolia, but then my luck finally ran out. Someone stole all you had. was stolen by a gang of thieves who've been terrorizing the town. The beastly boys, they call themselves. I can't make the journey to Hotto without all my things. Especially not the lilies of the valley I brought for my mother. They're her favorite flower. I wanted to give them to her to say, well, to say sorry for being away for so long. For leaving her all alone. <laughs> oh, honey, believe me, I know exactly how you feel. Fear not, friend. Your mother will get her flowers. Tave and I will make sure of that. All you need to do is tell us where we can find these beastly boys. Oh, well, if you're sure. There are two merchants, brothers, who run establishments in the southern part of town. I've heard that the Beastly Boys have been hanging around, causing trouble at the Older One's stall. A stall in the south of town, huh? All right, we'll be back before you know it. Dave, darling, let's roll! W wait Look, I appreciate you trying to help me. But these are real thugs we're talking about here, and no offense, but you're just an entertainer, right? I wouldn't want you getting he's, hurt. He's also an adventurer. <laughs> oh, don't you worry about me, sweetie. I'm more than just a pretty face, you know? Merchant in the south part of town. Wait a minute.
minute. Ho ho! Oh, I don't have the key. Dang it! Just gonna go in there and find the treasure chest. Make bank! Maybe get a nice upgrade. Go to the stall in the south of Gondolia. Run by the elder of the two merchants. This one? This one. First the ship stop, uh, stop to arrive, then we are besieged by bandits. This one? Oh, jeez. Oh, they're they're gone. Oh, please, Sylvan. Er. Whoosh. Slice through a group of enemies with a small whirlwind. Oh, jeez. Never mind. Dave, take him out. Take this. What oh, does Swoosh do? Swice with a powerful whirlwind. Oh, that's what you've been doing. I'm gonna attack this guy just because I know the other guy's Not bad at all. gone. You've asked for it now. <clears throat> Dave, you're much stronger than I Victory. thought you would be. Now, if you don't mind. What are we gonna do with this horrible lot then, Sylv? Well, beastly they may be, but they're not exactly the dangerous thugs we heard about. I can barely swing a sword. What's your story, boys, huh? We didn't start out as criminals. We were fishermen. Very happy fishermen at that. But after Yggdrasil fell, we couldn't take the boats out anymore. Have you seen the sea lately? It's swarming with monsters. Things were just impossible. Most days, we barely had anything to eat. The world might as well have ended that day. We lost our families. We lost everything. And no one came to help us. So we had to choose between a life of crime or starving to death. It's no choice at all. Why not work Watch for you, Watch closely, food? darlings. This is just an ordinary steel pike, yes? Mm -hmm. Please change it into food. Think again. Oh my god, I was joking. From arms to... Mm. Who's for fresh bread, huh? <gasps> <laughs> bon appetit, beastly boys. Eat your fill and forget your wicked ways. 
You'll be beaming again before you know it. How did you do that? Wait. Who? Who are you? Me? Oh, nobody. Just someone who likes to see people smile. <laughs> so how is that supposed to help them in the long run? That was like maybe two days worth of bread for three people? If that's all they're eating, that is? Wait, wasn't I supposed to get something from them? home to my mother with my head held high. Thank you, Mr. Silvando. Oh, here. It's not much, but I want you to have these. What did I get? Oh, Tetsu, darling. Whatever they are, I'm sure they're wonderful. <laughs> You're such a sweetie. Honestly, you deserve much more. Come and visit me in Hotto sometime. I'll be able to thank you properly. Now, I'd better be off. I tell you to be careful, but I've got a feeling you'll be just fine. Bye for Where's now. Where's Hotto? <laughs> Ta da! Yeah, you all right, Sil? Oh, I'm better than all right, darling. I found it. My purpose in life, my raison d'être. You know how I'm making so people happy. Dumb's thinking about all the despair and suffering in the world. Well, if that's what's making me so unhappy, there's only one thing to do about it: get out there and fix the problem. Help make people happy again. Just because I can't save the world with some grand heroic gesture that doesn't mean i can't do it one smile at a time that's my sylv i'm with you all the way hmm. we heard everything you just said hmm? you sent tea leaves from before I hope tea leaves in for another fight. Didn't they learn a lesson first time round? We want to join your band. You have to let us come with you. You have to let us help Dang people. It. We're done with our life of crime, thanks to you. You want to tag along? Hmm. Well, I hope you understand it won't be easy. I can't guarantee you'll get home in one piece. We don't care. Dang it, I was about to say that. Hmm. Well, in that case, welcome aboard, darlings. Oh, God. Are we just going to recruit everybody? Now, as luck would have it, I've got you all a welcome gift. Here. Take one each now. Don't be greedy. Is it a club? <laughs> no, they're simply fabulous. Darling, you look splendid. I don't get to see them. What are they? They're the presents dear old Tetsu gave us. If we're going to be traveling around spreading happiness and laughter, we'll need to look the part, no? All right. That's happiness all and laughter. Set. Let's get out there and bring some sunshine back into the world. <laughs> Silvando's super special smile spreading parade starts right here. Yeah! 
Right. How about we get out of here and find some more folks in need of helping, eh? Reckon we could do worse than a but than a butcher's round that gondolia place for a start. Oh god. Um, I don't have magic to uh Yep, nope. Apparently, he says things when he jumps. Why are these things running away? <laughs> Thanks, brothers. Oh, that's funny. No, these are muddy hands. Oh, God. They keep showing up. Take them all out. Oh, it did. Hey, we did it. Uh, places other than here. That is the answer where the rest of my party is. Okay, make your way to a hotel via Galapolis. Oh, there we go. I was trying to figure out where I'm supposed to actually be going. Are you going to tell me it's raining? The outlook's utterly gloomy. I can't predict the weather anymore. And I can't produce a drop of milk either. Okay then. No idea. I can't sleep. Greetings fellow travelers. I am... A peripatetic? Priest? When Yggdrasil fell, I resolved to roam Ardrea, bringing comfort and solace to those who might need it the most. Alas, there is only so much that one man could do. For every person I help, there are ten that I fail. Their pained voices haunt me constantly. They keep me awake at night. In fact, I can barely remember the last time that I slept. I am so tired, I fear. I fear I may be unable to continue my mission. I'm just fast. Do you think there might be anything you can do to cheer up? I don't know who he actually asked us to cheer up, but sure. He, I cannot call for horses now. Weird.
The tree almost looked like a hand. Oh wow, it's you, isn't it? You're the great Silvando. I sure am, honey, and who might you be? Oh, I'm nobody. Not yet, anyway. I just joined the circus in Galapolis, you see. Oh, the others aren't going to believe this. It's such an honor to meet you. You're the reason I chose the life of the entertainer, you know? One look at you in action, and I knew that uh, what I wanted to be. I ran away and joined up as soon as I could. Oh, stop it, you're making me blush. But wait, if you're in the circus in Galapolis, what are you doing all the way out here? Well, to cut a long story short, we're closing down. Nobody wants to see people clowning around when the world's the way it is. But we're uh, doing one last performance first. Got to go out with a bang, right? Trouble is, we don't have enough people to pull off what the ringmaster's got planned. So that's why I'm out here. I'm on the hunt for people who want uh, the taste of showbiz before it's too late. Sadly, there don't seem to be many of those around, so I suppose you know what's coming. Will you join us for one last big show? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. With the great Silvando at the top of the bill, it's going to be the night to remember for sure. Ah, but even with you on board, we're still a couple performers short. I don't suppose you could help us look for two more people who'd be willing to join in. Don't bother with the desert coming out here. Uh, don't bother with the desert. Coming out here was a stupid idea. I should have uh, stuck with downtown Galapolis. There's always plenty of talent there. And with your reputation, not to mention your prowess for persuasion, uh, they'll be queuing around the block to sign up. Right, I'd better head back to the big top and uh, start getting ready. Stop by uh, and see me if you need anything or if you want some advice on who to recruit. Good luck and thanks again for your, all the, your help. Alrighty then. Don't bother with the desert. Man, this is a long run. Make your way to Hotel via Galapolis, helping any troubled travelers you meet along the way. Okay. There's bound to be plenty. Ooh, a bunch of pots. Oh my god, seven gold coins, I'm rich! This person. Wait, what? This is the entrance to the spectator stance. There are no races taking place at the moment. I cannot permit you to enter. Hmm, you're looking for a friend of the drummer? Let me think. I suspect it is a horse you are looking for. He seems to prefer their company to that of humans.
Nay. I should probably be reading this, but you know what? You'll help too, won't you boys? Let's put our best foot forward and bring a smile back to Margarita's big, lonely, long face. Okay! Look, look how happy she is. You did it. You really did it. No, we did it. This was a team effort, darling. And with that Margarita smiling again, uh, we could do with those skills of yours at the circus. What do you say? I received a dollop of horse poop. You heard me right. I got a dollop of horse poop. Uh, I am very concerned, so yes. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? Uh, the tavern, you say? Oh, it's just a spotlight. This guy? You want me to join the circus? Gosh, I don't... I didn't even see that one coming. Are you sure about this? I mean, I'm just a fortune teller. Do you really think I'm going to fit the bill? I tell you what, why don't you... Uh, why don't we let my crystal ball decide now? Listen carefully, I'm going to uh, picture one and only one of these wondrous orbs. Red, yellow, or blue. All you've got to do is choose one. You pick the one I'm picturing, and I'll know we were destined to work together. I'll come and join the circus without further ado. Are you all set? Alright, I'm going to start picturing one of them. Now, remember, all you have to do is choose which one it is. The balls tell all, the balls tell our all. What color will they show us? If lies they tell, then off to heck. Ah, uh, that dark place down below us. They speak of fire, they speak of flames, they speak of sunset glow. The balls tell all, the balls tell all. What color do they show? Red. You are absolutely certain this is the one you want to choose? Well, you did it. You got it right. It looks like we've got some kind of connection. In which case, my crystal ball and I are at your service. Let me know uh, what you want to do at the circus, and I'll give it my best shot. The fortune teller agrees to perform at the circus. So we're good now? Two of them? Oh, I need to go backstage. Wait, how do I get backstage? I probably have to talk to this guy over here. It's really sad when there's no, like, voice Ladies and Here gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, one and all. I know it's a difficult time for all of us, but what better way to show off our indefatigable spirit than to fill the big top with joyful laughter and defiant exuberance. 
And believe me, that's what's going to happen. Because tonight, for one night only, for the first time since the glory days of the Gallipolitan Circus, the Wandering Wonder returns! <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Welcome! Oh, hi! <laughs> hi! Clap <laughs> ah. your hands, <laughs> stamp your feet, and get ready to smile like you've forgotten how to! I give you the great Silvando! What am I going to do? Oh my god, it's a rose. That turned into me. God, I'm a magician. All right, everybody. It's time to turn those frowns upside down. Prepare! To be amazed! Oh, trust me. I am amazed. Silvando and co. put on a stunning performance, and for one night at least, the people of Galapolis are able to put all their worries and cares behind them. After a jaw-dropping show, the curtain falls to thunderous applause. <laughs> <laughs> well, Syl, I've got to hand it to you. That was like nothing else this circus has ever seen. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Oh, darling, please. I just did a few party tricks, that's all. You're the real hero here. Keeping the show going in these dark times? No one else could have done that. <laughs> well, you know me. I've always been a firm believer in the healing power of laughter. And heaven knows, these people need it now more than ever. I don't think I ever told you who taught me about that power, did I? I saw her when I was just a child. She was simply the most incredible performer. She led a parade of people out of a kingdom destroyed by monsters and onto a new home and a brighter future. And she kept them smiling from start to finish. <laughs> you can't imagine how inspirational it was for those of us who were lucky enough to wave them on their way. And then, when she'd taken them to safety, she disappeared just as suddenly as she'd arrived. Oh, that's we gonna never be saw me. Her again. The rumors were that she died when she was still young. Such a tragedy. Still, they say she fell in love with a famous knight, and they got married. So it seems she found some happiness before her untimely end. You remind me of her, you know. That look on her face as she proudly led those people out of danger, spreading joy and laughter wherever she went. Well, if I needed inspiration to keep the circus going, you provided it in spades. The show must go on. These people need some light in their lives. Did you hear that, darlings? It seems we've got a rival in the smile-spreading business. Well, we'll just have to work twice as hard. Uh, Mr. Silvando? Are they gonna join up with the circus? Would you mind if we came with you? If this circus is going to stand any chance of keeping people laughing, it's going to need some performers who've learned from the best. Oh, well. The more the merrier, of course. But 
I think we should see what the ringmaster has to say, don't you? Oh, you boys go with Cyril. Learn all you can from him, eh? I'll be expecting big things from you when you get back. Take good care of them, won't you? They're good lads, I promise. Life in the happiness restoring trade isn't all fun and games, you know? I'm going to be training you hard. And I expect you to become nothing less than the very best in the business. Sir, yes, yes sir. sir. Ah, that's a lot of pressure. Three new friends join Silvando's merry band. Oh God, I'm gonna have an army here. You can now choose which of Silvando's new friends will fight alongside him in battle. Try talking to them when you're next at a campsite. Hotel. Where do they keep on running away? The enemies, or the uh, enemies somehow seem to be running away from each other. No, from each other. They might be spoopied. I wonder if there's more people I could have gotten along the way. Oh, you poor thing. It breaks my heart to see you like this. If I could... Oh, hello there. Oh, no. This isn't a monster, I promise you. Well, it did start out as one, at least. It's actually a, co uh, a common or garden plant, and a very beautiful one, too. It's from the Lu Gu Laguna de Gondolia, originally, and it's simply breathtaking when it's in bloom. Sadly, when the world went to pot and the darkness fell, plants underwent all kinds of metamorphosis and mutation, and even started wandering around causing mischief like this one. It breaks my heart, it really does. That's why I decided to try to do something about it. I'm a botanist, you see, and I've invented a special fertilizer that should restore this uh, little fellow to its former glory. I've got, got almost all the ingredients I need, but there is one thing I'm still missing. Horse poo. I might have a pocket full of that. I'd go and fetch some myself, but I can't just abandon my little friend here. I'm worried he'll panic and start attacking passers-by. Say, you look like a helpful sort. I don't suppose you'd go and get some horse poo for me. Sure thing, honey. One steaming mound of horse manure coming right up. We'll have your friend look you fabulous again before you know it. Oh, thank you ever so much. Now, I don't know much about horses. Plants are my thing, not animals. But I've heard there are lots of them in Galapagos. Maybe that's a good place to start looking. Gives the botanist the dollop of horse poo he so desperately desires. The botanist uses the horse poo to mix up a batch of fertilizer. He then applies it liberally to the soil around the base of the plant. The plant seems to calm down a little before pulling up its roots and wandering off. Look at that! It worked! Thank you ever so much for your help. My little friend will have tootled off back to Lagoon de Gondolia, I'd imagine. Here's hoping he has a nice, quiet life from now on. Here, here. It's so good to know it's 
not just humans we're capable of helping. All living things need a hand from time to time. That's right, especially with the way the world is now. There must be so many plants out there just suffering out there suffering just like that poor little fellow was. I wish I could help them all. I really do. Wait, I have an idea. Why don't I travel around with you and your friends? That'll surely... That's surely the best way I could help as many plants as possible. Yeah, sure. That guy is? I could believe that that guy would be a healer. Let's be real. I just legit can't believe that that horse poo came in handy. Well, none shall pass. I promise to protect these people, and that is what I shall do. Gulp. Easy there, honey. We don't mean you any harm. Quite the opposite, actually. We're traveling around looking for people who might need our help. Yeah. You bet, honey. The monster is going to learn the hard way that it can't go around swiping people's dinners out from under their noses. The martial artist joined the party. Let's see. I need to get to the save point just because it has been a while. I'm afraid I'm going to die and lose an hour of work. Yes. Uh, make your way to Hoot. I don't know where I'm actually supposed to go with that one. Because I did not read. Nope. Let... Ah, let's just go to the village. Worst case scenario, it's not there. Actually, you know what? Get in. Just auto and the auto step to go. And you'll have helped everyone who needs help in this. So, go to the auto step. Hoto, sorry. God, the guy talks weird. Sorry, I'm going over here for this, uh, the shiny. It's a giant. Oh my guy. Reckon we found our grub pinching monster still ready to have a crack at him. God. Um. Yeah. So. I'm just gonna do this preemptively. Take 
Jeez. Oh my god. Okay, I didn't realize that there was actually a healer in the party. Maybe it was a waste. My god, this guy just gives us uh, bonuses all the time, doesn't he? He threw flammable fertilizer. Got all four of them. Come on, Dave. God, that guy got two crits now. Oh, not bad, gang. The great Silvanda grows even greater. Silv Silvando and Co, uh, Co defeated the Gigantes. The villagers recovered all the stolen food and taken back to hotel. Thank you so much for your help. I really couldn't have done it without you, you know? You're really quite something. Risking your life to help a bunch of strangers like that, that's pretty amazing. I want to be like you too, but I don't think I've got what it takes yet. Hey, maybe if I spend some time with you, it might help. What do you say? Is it alright if I tag along for a while? Looks like you've helped everyone and you'd helped around. Why don't you swing over to a hotel and s Oh, God. All right. Well, let me get into the next cutscene and I will... All right, I got to go and check on my dog. I will be right back. Yoo-hoo! Teddy Weddy Woo Bags! Silvando, you came! But of course I did! And who's this ravishing young thing, huh? I am his mother. And you must be so Vando. Gratitude is due. When the world tree fell, I thought my boy had been lost. I drowned in despair. But now he is home. My worries clear like the clouds. And all thanks to you. Would you look at that? You really do perk people up wherever you go, eh, Silver? A right little soldier of smile, you are. No, oh, thank you. Mm, soldier of smile. Ooh, I like it. All right, listen up, boys. <gasps> we all know what a dark place the world is these days. But if there's one thing I've learned by helping people like Tetsu here, it's the power of the smile. No matter how bad things get, no matter how much you cry or how powerless you feel, 
A single grin can bring hope for a better tomorrow. There's nothing this world needs more than happy faces right now. So that's just what we're going to give it. Yay! You're so right, Sylv. We're with you all the way. Oi! I got seven Who followers. Said you could start calling him plain old Sylv, you cheeky toe rag. Oh, I get it. We can't go spreading smiles if we're mistering and surring left and right, eh? Fair enough. Silv yourself, silly boys. Great idea, boss. Silv it is. I'm with you all the way too, Silv. Let's get out there and save the world. Yeah! I mean, yay! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Oh, you don't know how much this means to me. This parade's gonna change everything. I just know it. From this day forth, you shall journey across the land, vanquishing the blight of despair with the righteous power of happiness. I hereby dub you... The Warriors the of Smile? Soldiers, soldiers of Smile! Please you, sir. My son would like to join you in spreading sunlight. Ooh, I got All a right, ninth boys. follower now. Me and my mom have made a little something that's going to knock your socks off. <gasps> I told you I'd thank you properly if you came to visit. Now you can travel the world in style. Is that a chariot of some sort? We've made something for you too, Sylv. To say thanks, you know. Close your eyes. What is it? What is it? Oh god, it's an outfit. Oh, oh my, I love it. Thank you so much, my special little soldiers. Okay, baby girl. Too much. So that snivelling you. There's people out there need our help in case you've forgotten. <laughs> good girl, that's a good call. Look out, world. That's a good call. Here we come. Oh my god, they all changed I into outfits. Still out there. All of you. We'll meet again soon. I just know it. And until then, I'll be doing my best to make the world a better place. Oh, are we swapping over to a new person now? Jade journeys forth. Oh god, we're going to get into a situation where one of our characters is very weak. Octagonia, finally. You there? You're not from around here, are you? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. One traveler to another. Steer well clear of that city. It's in a right old state. The stories I've been hearing are enough to make your hair stand on end. Thanks for the warning, but I'm going in anyway. If the people there are suffering, I can't leave them to their fate. Things are bad enough these days without them. <laughs> oh, blimey. In there a aren't many like you around. Most people are just out for themselves since Yggdrasil fell. Well, good luck to you. You'll need it.
I know I'm not alone in this. If you're still out there, you'll be doing exactly the same thing as me. And that's how I'm going to find you. I just have to keep looking. So which one are you looking for? My money's on Rab. Oh god, this is a city taken over by monsters. Monsters inside the city. And the rumors were true. <laughs> Insolent fool! How dare you defy us! Someone needs to clip your wings! Teach you your place in the pecking order! Time to put an end to your hyper-annoying antics, once and for all. <laughs> Not so fast. Hopefully by clipping your wings you mean your hat. <laughs> what the? I'd better shake a tail feather and tell Boga about this. Boga? Yeah, you probably should have gone for that guy first. Thanks. I think I'd be able to look after myself, being a fighter and all. <laughs> you're hey, a fighter? You're under the whole masked martial arts thing too, right? Yeah. You made it all the way to the semifinals. Jade, wasn't it? Huh. Picked a heck of a time to come back. What brings you to town? I've oh, you your soul? Where people are in trouble and destroying the monsters I find there. I heard that Octagonia had been overrun, so I came here as quickly as I could. What can you tell me about what's been going on? Uh, well, we've had it pretty tough. As soon as Yggdrasil fell, this creep called Booga showed up and took the place over. Started using us humans as his slaves. Vince and the others weren't about to let monsters take over our hometown without a fight, though. A bunch of them went out looking to take the guy down. But we've heard nothing since. They probably then, got captured, though. Got so I couldn't bear to just stand by and watch things go to hell, either. I had to try to do something. But, well, we saw how that worked out. Well, they won't be bullying the people of this town any longer. It's time someone taught this Booga character a lesson. Look, no offense, lady, but... Uh, I'm most definitely the strongest one here. <laughs> He should be up in the old arena on the third level. Guess you know what you're doing, but uh, just be careful, okay? Hopefully I could grab a couple uh, friendlies on the way up. Watch where you put your paws, baby girl. Monsters even really a threat? Okay, so nothing over here. I don't think these monsters are actually a threat. No, I mean like they're not moving or anything. So they're not trying to, you know, attack me? Huh! <laughs> Slot machines? Boog is building something real- oh wait. It's- it's really going to put Octagony on the map. People will be uh, flocking here from all over. You humans should be proud. He's letting you help with the construction. An unsettling aura drifts down from above. 
Proceed. Booger, I presume. Enslaver of innocence and all round bully. I am he, mighty Booger, spectral sentinel, skull smasher, swoon inducer extraordinaire. And who might you be? Let me guess. Another righteous warrior come to put an end to my wicked reign. Oh, come on then, let's have a look at you. <sighs> God, you look ugly. Oh, God. As glossy as a great saber cat's coat, the flawlessly toned physique of a gigantic. Oh, yes, you're right up Booger's alley. Oh, God. We mustn't waste another moment. Please, say you'll be mine. Let me shower you with gushing lashings of affection every minute of every day, forever, and ever, and ever. <laughs> Super creepy. Ugh, I couldn't think of anything worse. <laughs> Just look at her angry face. It's even more adorable than her only mildly grumpy face. Swoon. <laughs> Why would you say swoon? But you won't be able to stay mad at me forever. Especially not when you see what I made you. Beloved, a token of my undying appreciation. This guy's a stalker. hair-raising suit. Ooh, and it will make your darling Booga Booga very happy indeed to see you wear it. <laughs> Please tell me it's an actual bonus. Darling, please. We've only just met. <laughs> Try to control your urges. At least tell me your name before you start throwing yourself at me. <laughs> Come on now. Be a good girl. Are you threatening the townsfolk? <laughs> I think you are. I've been known to get a little aggressive when I don't get my way. So, what do you say, honey man? A quick change of clothes is a small price to pay to stop these people suffering. Sure, I guess. Thank you for blacking it out, I guess. Oh. This guy is a creep. I put on your stupid suit. Now be as good as your word and let these people go so I can come over there and pummel you. Hmm. Oh, I don't think so. Hmm. No, I've changed my mind. 
sorry, but I am very pleased to hear you want to spend some quality time with me. <laughs> Let's get rid of these hangers on first, shall we? <laughs> so he's gonna kill him first. Take everyone except me and the girl with you, my love. <gasps> Anything for you, my boogie woogie woober. What the heck is this? You're disgusting. How could you? Save it for when we're finally alone with you, my little club dog. We just have to pack these people off into an interdimensional vortex, and you will have me all to yourself. What happens to them in the interdimensional vortex? Into the interdimensional vortex. That's definitely something. Where am I? Please! I don't want to fight anymore. I'm sorry, okay? Please! Lo, thou hast defied mighty Booga, and must needs pay thy penance. Thou knowest the sentence. Ten thousand battles, no more, no less. Only then shalt thou be permitted to leave this place. That's a little weird. <laughs> Ten thousand battles. You animal! Can't you see he's had enough? He can't fight one more battle, let alone 10,000! Uh, stop it, please. You're only making it worse. Uh. 20,000 now! What do you mean? Tis plain thou art new to this place. Fear not, child. His life, at least, shall be spared. Just. But the commandments of Booga must be obeyed. Those who defy him must remain in limbo and fight until they have learned their lesson. Now stand aside and let justice be done. Thine own day of judgment shall come to pass soon enough. I don't know what you people are doing here, but it stops now. Please, you have to listen to me. The more you try to fight them, the worse I'll get it. Forget about me, okay? You really want to help? Go help those who need it most. Uh, some of the guys they're keeping down there, they're getting it way worse than me. They get 10,000 lashings Fine, instead? If you insist. Can I just, like, uh, fight him? No, I can't. I think that might have been some sort of fan fiction. Oop, 
Dang it. This whole section is just... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Yes, it is. It is exactly because it's creepy. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's not a spooky creepy. It's more like a... Uh, stalker creepy? Too, huh? Can't nobody catch a break lately. Why would they? So you're the ones who went off to beat Booga and never came back. What exactly happened? Not a whole lot. We tried to take the guy down, and he sent us here. Limbu called him. Limbu? No one's allowed to leave until they've paid for standing up to him by learning their lesson. Which means trooping in one by one to fight monster after monster. And no matter how bad it gets, you can't tap out. But that's... That's just awful. The whole sordid little operation is run by a horrendous fiend by the name of Boudica. She brought us all here and no one's made it out since. Unless someone does something about her, we'll be stuck here forever. Doomed to an eternity of terror, never knowing who might be called up next. It's, it's definitely you. But you can't give up hope. If what you just said is true, then all we have to do is take care of this Boudica, and we can all go home. Can't give up hope. <laughs> You're a bit late for that, darling. We ain't had none of that in here for a long old while. Going after Boudicca will only make things worse for us all. Is that what you want? Yes. Yeah. Best thing we can do is keep our heads down and wait for them to get bored and let us go. We don't need none of your heroics, all right? You leave it alone if you know what's good for you. You can't think Yeah, like that's that. not how we roll. If you do, nothing will ever change. If we don't stand up and... And fight? Look, hun. We've all heard the rumors, okay? About the Dark Spawn and how he caused the Lord of Shadows to come and wreck the world. And how a certain young fighter just happens to be one of the Dark Spawn's bosom buddies. You really expect us to listen to you? I. I. It's time to lock horns with some more monsters. <laughs> you get moving. It's your turn to pay off some of your debt to Booga. No, 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 no. Please, please, I, I don't want to. I, I can't. Never mind <gasps> him. If it's a fight you're after, I'll be more than happy to oblige. <laughs> oh, what fun! I do so love them when they're new enough to still have some fire in their bellies. Lady Boudica? <laughs> I bet you thought I didn't notice you up there. Making eyes at my Booga Booga. <laughs> well, I did! Luckily for you, we have an extra special punishment for little madams who don't know their place. It's called the Girly Burly. The Girly Burly? <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <laughs> You've really gone and done it now. So long, kiddo. It was nice knowing you. Hmm. Don't be so sure. You may have given up hope, but I'm not about to.
you really are even more reckless than you look. Do you think you stand a chance out there with those weapons? I'm not going to be able to stop you going ahead with this, though, am I? In which case, you'd better take these. I managed to smuggle them with me when they dragged me down here. Go on, you you need it definitely greater. Uh, your need is definitely greater than mine. Jade received three special medicines, a vial of magic water and a rock bomb shard. Uh, Jade receives a trident and a pair of silver claws. Just make sure to take them out of your bag ahead of time if you want to use them. Anyway, they should tip the odds in your favor. Just a little mind. Uh, not that it'll do much good. It'll probably just prolong the agony. Let's see what you gave me. Ooh, the trident is better. Actually, do you got anything? Let's get a save in before we go, just so we don't have to go through all that talking again. Actually, I can just skip the cutscene. It's not like it matters much. Oh well. different kettle of fish. She don't stand a chance out there. How do you know? Uh-oh. What is it, like five monsters against me? Life-changing charm offensive that can leave the enemy utterly, utterly enthralled. How about his fizzle? So it is possible to take him out. I want to go against A, just because it's strengthened. One more and then a heal. Wait, what? 
Not equipment. Can I not? Oh my god, I can't. I can't actually heal it. Bleed. Not bad. I survived the first round, but the ordeal isn't over yet. Whole herds of monsters are still lining up to take their turn. Mahaha, you have spirit, I will grant you that. But we have barely even begun. Uh oh. And then I should attack the. <laughs> oh, actually, they do pretty low amount of damage. Oh god, how much HP does it have? Hopefully j the next one will work. Okay, thank god. Jade survives the second round. We he he, we love hurting humans, and we can't wait to hear you scream. <laughs> Let's see, an unbalancing blow that can send an enemy sprawling. And especially effective against flying enemies. There's nothing I have that hits multiple enemies. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to power through them all. And the problem is, I got nothing that actually heals me. hit and they got me. I guess two more hits. <laughs> Alright, so what happens now? No, 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 we can't have you dying here, my dear. <laughs> oh, they just brought me back to life. Okay. So, I can't physically lose these fights, at least until the end, probably. So, in that case, I'm just going to start attacking normally.
Is that... it? I don't know what all the fuss was about. I don't believe it. She made it through the girly burly. How did she do that? Anybody else would have given up by now. Okay, here's the big bad monster that I was worried about. Oh, you're so annoying! You weren't supposed to actually survive! Well, you revived me! Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, that ain't right. She just fought off a massive horde of monsters. At least give her a chance to catch her breath. I was going to make this a fair fight. Yes. Honestly, one little present from my Bruga, and she thinks she's queen of everything. <laughs> Don't let it get to your head, dear. My boo only has eyes for one woman, and she outshines you in every arena. Looks? <laughs> Style? Not even close. Muscle? <laughs> Oh my god. Huh? Huh? Are the other fighters going to join me in this one? What? You think that's it? I'm just getting started. Oh, you think you're so tough, don't you? Well, you've asked for it now, Missy. Limbu is about to introduce a new punishment. Death! That's unfair. Jade, stop! Just stay down, you hear? Keep fighting and you'll die. That ain't no use to anybody. Quit now while you still can. How about you if join you in? Stop now, then you really will all give up hope. Not while I'm still... Breathing. Too many people have given up already. And who can blame them? The world's fallen apart around them. But I'm not about to do the same. My friends are still out there. And they'll never give up. I know it. I don't believe you. <sighs> They give me the strength to keep on going. A light in the darkness. I have to keep that light alive. I'll keep getting up, no matter how many times you knock me down. I'll never let that light die. Get it. He's only got one eye. Just kick it out. You did it, Jade. Is this actually not a boss battle? Oh. Did you drink your uh, potion thing? All the stuff that's been going down. 
we lost sight of the most important thing. Hope. That light you talked about? Mine is those kids back at the orphanage. I won't stay down either. Not until I finally make it back to them. Oh, is she tricky? <clears throat> we got your back, an old giant. What kind of big, tough warriors would we be if we didn't, eh? Oh, thanks for the healing. Hey, listen. I'm sorry about what I said before, okay? And I'm on board with all the Light of Hope stuff, too. There's gotta be something still worth fighting for in this world, right? Here, baby girl. Come here. All right, everyone. Let's finish Boudicca off. Then get out of here and take care of her boy. It's time to bring hope back to Octagon. Ah! Limbu's too good for the likes of you, filthy humans! You're all going straight to hell! Wow. <laughs> You're too strong for your own good anyway. Take out the lackeys first. Oh my god, whatever that was, I liked it. Oh my god, I need help. Please, for the love of god, heal me. Thank you. I was about to ask what the heck that was. I'll send you straight to hell. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, you need to start doing better healing. Thank you, Cinderella. Oh, no, no, no. Holy crap! Thank you for the medicine. Yeah, I wouldn't have survived that. She isn't even half. Let's try the leg, leg sweep. Yes. This ought to help. Now I'm mad. I'll send you straight to hell. Take that.
please actually work again. Nope. Oh no, not you, she's almost dead, there we go. Wow, that's a lot of experience. How, how could this have happened? Me, defeated by humans. <laughs> bye bye, Boudica. Return to the uh, Yggdrasil, the Tree of Life, or wherever it is that you come from. This is not looking good. We need to get out of here, fast! <gasps> We've seen this before, just jump through the cracks! Look, Octagonia! It's our only chance, quickly everyone! <laughs> That's a lot of vertical jump. <laughs> that burly girly better not be roughing up my bunnykins. <laughs> my eyes! Are you blind? <sighs> 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 Did we? You're all back! <sighs> Man, we made it! We're back home! Oh yeah! We yeah. did it! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, we can't start celebrating just yet. We've got one last battle to fight. Octagonia won't be safe until we've dealt with Booga. Let's Hopefully all the uh, villagers join in, too. The town's... Ooh. What was that? Jade, you okay? The evil is taking over. <laughs> My little bunny rabbit has finally hopped home to daddy. I wondered when that suit of mine would finally work its magic. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, we've got so much to look forward to. You're mine. All mine. We're going to be together forevermore. Again, super we'll creepy. Write each other love letters. Maybe even, dare I say it, hold hands. Oh, it's all so romantic. Holding hands. That's the sign of true love right there. Never. You have a strong will. I think you'll get out of this.
Are we finally 24 hours into this? Yeah. Full day of playtime. Eric's new acquaintance. Ugh. Why does he always get thrown into jail? Maybe he's a thief, which is why. What happened? Am I still alive? I I remember the tree of life and the Lord of Shadows. I can't be the only one who made it, right? Right? Not good. I'm not exactly in the best shape for a jailbreak. It's not a jail. It's a monster's lair. <gasps> Are you the monster? Hey, where'd you get off sneaking up on people like that? <sighs> Don't worry. I'm not a bad slime. I promise. Oh, oh. dear. It okay. looks like you're a little battered and bruised. But I can help. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. <gasps> uh, oh. Thank you. Whoa. You... You healed me. What kind of slime goes around appearing out of nowhere and healing humans? The good kind? <laughs> <laughs> this kind of slime. My name's Elijah. Nice Elijah. Uh, okay. Sure. Are you going to be well, on my whatever. team? If you're as good a monster as you say you are, maybe you can help me. Have you seen my buddies anywhere? Who's that? Your friends? You mean other goomans? Nope. You're the only one here. But you want to go and find them, do you? All right. Follow me. Uh, That's a neat trick. He's helping me escape. Maybe he really is one of the good guys. Well, I'm not about to look a gift horse we, in the mouth. I wish we could have that kind of trick. I've got a new friend. I th I think they grabbed all your stuff off of you when they caught you. But fear not, I've got some great news. Look what I found. Whoa, my stuff. Maybe you really aren't a bad slime after all. Eric gratefully takes back his possessions and equips his kit. Steel broadsword equipment. I'll... Not really better than what I have. I really wish I would have equipped my second dagger, because hopefully I would have. I might have gotten my second dagger. Oh my god. Gawi, look at all these treasure chests. They're sure to be oozing with loot. Hmm, looks too good to be true to me. I've got a feeling the good stuff's going to be in one chest and the others will all be traps. Definitely this one. Uh, butterfly knife? Alright. A hideout key. Great, a key. But what's it for? Something important, I'll bet. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's see what we can find. Come on, baby girl. Go get your bone. Alright, which one of you is trapped? Hey, look, it's a can of box. Oh, my God.
Let's see. Oh my god, how much does it get to attack? Come on, baby girl. A sly strike that can see poison and paralyze enemies. You want some? Okay. Huh. Easy. A seed of skill. Hi, babe. Awarded for claiming victory in at least 250 battles. All right. Here's the cannon box. Oh, great. Okay, thank God it didn't affect me a second time. You're not gonna like it. Oh, God, thank you. It's just one attack now. That's the best one to hit. Seed of skill. Man, I really am wondering what that giant find soaring steel. I really am wondering what that giant one did. Brutal boomerang. Maybe I should try the boomerang. Just saying, I've never done it, and it looked like the one guy really hit, like, four attacks. I'll let her in. Ah! I got stuck. Dang it. Oh, I can't do any of those without... That was it? Oh yeah, I'm definitely swapping back. That was terrible. Another escape from an underground prison, huh? It takes me back to the good old days when we busted out of Heliodor Castle. I hope he's doing okay, wherever he is. Who are you talking about? Sounds like someone who's very important to you. Long story. Anyway, let's blow this to it. Alright, I gotta know. There's gotta be something this way. An attack on an opponent's weak point that can sometimes kill them instantly.
God, that was quick. Another one bites the dust. Okay, so there was no point to that. Goodness gracious, easy does it. There are two tough looking monsters up ahead. Hey, why so jumpy? Don't worry, I'll watch my step. Talking about? No idea. Never mind. There'll be time for that later. We need to get these guys out of the way. Oh, oh, I've got an idea. Why don't we do this? Is that supposed to be whispering? Mm -hmm. Did I knock him out? Backstab! <laughs> Great work, Eric! Wait, how do you know my name? That's a good question. You and me need to have a little talk. But it'll have to wait for now. Come on. Yay! Let's get going! Actually, I didn't even look around. Okay. No treasure chest. I'm always worried that they're going to place a treasure chest exactly where, uh... Uh, they cut across our at. My brain no work so good today. Oh my god. Glad that way was locked. Oh, great. Going in there looking for a fight would be suicide. Damn it, what do we do now? Come on, you can't just do giving up like that. What would your sister think? Wait a second. You're talking about my sister now? You have a sister? Position to think much of anything. Um, you don't remember telling me about her? I suppose it must have been a while ago. <laughs> what are you talking about? I only just met you, remember? Um, anyway, this is no slime to be dithering. We need to look for another way out of here. Come on, let's go! Oh, God. What have you done? Customer, all right. But don't worry, I'll get the truth out of you eventually. What have you done, Elijah? Oh. I almost fell. I don't think I could actually fall off, but would have sucked anyway. That's a fancy way. Oh. 
Wait, how do I get across? I guess I just fall down? Rock bomb shards? got over here superior medicine wait what just touched me so I probably won't be able to do that there we go that's fine you can heal them as much as you want be able to one-shot him anyway. How do you like this? Uh, confused... Sleeping or confused enemies. Oh my god, that's amazing! How do you like this? Who's the best? The heck is this? It's, it's got a face on it. Hmm. But this one's not working. Let's see what's going on with it, shall we? Interesting. Don't worry, it's not broken. With a little bit of my extra special magic, it'll be all systems going no slime. <laughs> Take a minute or two. Just wait there, okay? I'm worried about the face. Do I actually have to attack? Wait, where are you going? You've got to hold them off until I get the thingy working. Okay. You stupid human. You really thought you could escape. Uh, we're going to beat you 10th lift and fling you back in here. Okay. Watch out. The goblins are pretty easy. Apparently not. 
Oh my god, he's still in the fight. Wait, what? I thought I was paralyzed and slept. Oh, sleeping or confused. Uh, there are plenty more monsters where they came from. You'll have to keep fighting them off until I can get this contraption gooping. Alright, I probably can't, uh, 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 venom that thing. So sleeping it is. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna try and put that thing to sleep as well. One more. Only a total crackpot would think they could escape us. You don't have a chance, and if you don't believe me, ask all the other monsters who are on their way. Rah! <laughs> or maybe you'd rather not wait to find out. Very well, you've earned yourself an exclusive private meeting courtesy of yours truly. Well, that was easy. It's over. Maybe I should put him into the party. He's actually pretty darn strong. But you I just have to take over his abilities. If he's free to do what he wants, he kind of sucks. slime really but things would have got sticky if you hadn't been there to keep the monsters at bay all right i gotta go let my dog in hmm. give me just a second this place looks different to where we were before let's go and see if we can find a way out shall we Alrighty then, I am back. Ooh. First, first things first, healing. Saving. 
and then two chests. Agility ring. Ooh. Yeah, because I really have nothing on you. Wait a second. Isn't this the great, great big room that was oozing with monsters earlier? It looks like we can go that way. Come on, there's no slime to lose. Oh, baby girl. Okay, I hear him. And I see him. Get the treasure chest. Disturbing turban? Oh my god. Charm goes way down, but my defense goes way up. Holy crud. I take it this one is a no go. Okay, what was the point of that? Maybe just in case I wanted a way back to where I started. Wait. To farm or whatever. Where the heck are you? We were up in the sky the whole time? So how do we get down? Something tells me this isn't a jump we're going to survive. Go farther up! Look, over there! There's a path going up to the top! <laughs> oh no. What now? The heck is this thing? Kneel before Indignus, mortal, spectral sentinel and servant of the Lord of Shadows. It is I who imprisoned you, intending to offer you up to my master. But I see that you have other ideas. Yes, yes, I you do. Escaping. Well to make it this far. Quite a feat for a mere human. But you will go no further. I don't know. I think I can move as far forward as I want to. Are those? We cannot suffer in the compass of those the are not people. The time of darkness has arrived, and no light shall be allowed to return. All who oppose the Lord of Shadows will be destroyed. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Sleeper hits probably best chance. Alright, I should probably try and take this thing out now.
Oh my god, that was actually easy. Stay down. Leg. Uh, uh, oh, looks like the end of the road. Damn it. If only there was some way out. Jump. There is one way. Elijah? Is that you? Where are you? It is me, but also not me. You have known me for longer than you think. One oh. day, you shall meet the luminary somewhere deep underground. And if you help him, you shall be forgiven. You know those words. Don't you? Wait, that's... I can lend you the power to escape your predicament. A great power. But a power you may use just this once. And in return, I will have to take from you that which you treasure most. What do I so treasure most? Me, what might that be? I don't know. Of course. Your memories of your brothers and sisters in arms. Precious treasures indeed. But I will have to strip you of them. There is no other way. Yeah, there is. It's called jumping. Do what you have to do. I need that power. Memories aren't much good to me dead. Better to live and make new ones. I won't let this end here. I can't. I don't like how this is going. Then the power is yours. Accepted his fate at last. Seize him! Oh, my God. Please tell me I do like twenty million damage each strike. Oh, I'm not done. Not by a long shot. God, one man army. I get all the experience for this. Is fighting him yet. Very well. I shall finish the job myself. <sighs> Foolish human. Let's do this. Oh my god, please tell me I'm healing like 200 a turn. Victimize 
Wait, I'm doing 200 damage? Six times 200 is more than that. God, I'm so strong. Are you sure I can't keep this power? No, not now, damn it. I said, I'm not done. Excellent, Kerr. I shall lay your broken carcass at the feet of my master. So what was the point of getting the big powerful abilities if I was just going to jump anyway? Granted, I know I was I didn't jump, I was pushed, but You did it, Eric. You're safe now. Oh, you no know, big girl. It's almost bedtime for you, isn't it? You knew me as the seer, as do all the people of your world. I once told you a tale of your destiny, and I had hoped I might guide you to it. But even my power has its Glitchy. limits. Forgive me. Obviously not the game itself was glitchy, it was just the vision of the seer. Feel for you there, Eric. Eventually, I'm likely Remember, to end up with uh, dementia. Where there is life, there is hope. Farewell. What's up? Blooming Palava. Oh, there's nothing like a massive great tree falling out of the sky to mess things up good and proper. Oh, talk about the long way round. Huh? Crikey, that bloke don't look too steady on his feet. You all right, mate? I... I don't know. You don't know what? I don't even know who I am. All I know is I was on a journey with someone. But who? Ooh. Suit yourself. Okay then. So who's next? My guess is it's probably going to be, uh, oh, what's her name? 
Vanessa, Lord Robert and the Kingdom of Dreams. Not mm. who I was expecting. Is that his actual name? Is Robert? Who, where am I? How did I get here? I can't remember a thing. <gasps> Jinx! Is that... No, it can't be. I think you might it is. have Lizard. suffered a, from the a head wound, of the diet a head injury. And large as life. I have me the first clue what's going on around these parts. But I reckon I could do worse than ask a lassie here. Well, Rab, what are you waiting for? Shall no hang around forever while you pluck up what little courage you have left? Yoo-hoo! Hey, have you a moment to spare for a sweet, harmless old man, hen? What just happened? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> <sighs> this can he be? But, but it is. It's Dundrasil, just as it once was. <laughs> Looking sharp, Your Majesty. <gasps> <laughs> what? Oh, my, my old robes. But, but how? What in the world's going on? Would you care to enlighten me, lassie? <laughs> Walk this way. Talk this way. My bunny-eared pal headed off in the direction of the throne room, assuming this is the real Dundrasil castle, that is. Well, that's a good place as any to head for, I suppose. Uh, I'll see what the folks on the way have to say for themselves. He's probably the only one I really needed to talk to. It's almost time. Hurry over to your throne and throne and prepare yourself. <gasps> I trust you are well, father. As you and and you're young again. What, what, what's going on? You're old. You're senile. Uh, your and you're losing your mind. Please forgive my insolence in seeking a personal audience with you today. I come before you not as the head of the princess's honor guard, but as my own man. What? I mean, um, very well. State your business. Uh, 
well, uh, you see, the, um, the, 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 the thing is, I, uh, uh, I wish to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Do you now? Erwin. And though I am but a soldier, and all too aware of my own lowly position, nevertheless, I must persist. For there is one thing of which I am certain. My sword arm is steadfast, and my heart unwavering. There is no man alive who will love, honor, and protect your daughter as I can. Cool. Your Majesty, I place my fate in your hands. Will you allow me to continue to serve and protect your daughter, not as the head of her honor guard, but as her dutiful and loving husband? Yeah, no. Yeah, sure. I can hardly turn you down after that little performance, can I, laddie? And to tell you the truth, I always had an inkling you two might one day be wed. Oh, father. It's up to you now, Erwin. Don't disappoint me, you hear? Thank you, your majesty. Thank you. Now, is it going a different direction or is it a different huh? day? Crevens, <laughs> huh? mm. where do you spring from, Lassie? And where's everybody gone? <laughs> Did you enjoy your little trip down memory lane? Well, it's not over yet. Isn't it? I'm sure it'll tell me. There you are, Lord Robert. I was hoping I might have a chance to speak with you about something before the child was born. Before the child was born? Well now, so it's the day of my grandson's birth, is it? Now there's... there's a thing. Your Majesty? Sorry, lad. You were saying there was something you wanted to discuss? Aye, it's the child's name. I've been having trouble thinking of anything suitable. Uh, so much trouble that it's been distracting me from everything else. If I'm honest, I was wondering if you might see your way to uh, reprising your role as king for a wee while so I could have some time to think it over. Thank you. Thank you so much. You'll have... You'll not have much to do, I promise. There are just two items on the agenda for today. The first is something you're more than used to, receiving those who seek a royal audience and giving them counsel. The chief minister will be on hand to help you with your most pressing issues. The second is to make the rounds of the castle and assist anyone who needs your aid. The idea of the king aiding his subjects directly was, of course, something you yourself indicated during your reign. Initiated during your reign. I'll be by the fountain downstairs. It's where I do my best thinking. Once you've taken care of the day's business, please come and find me. I'm truly grateful to you for agreeing to do this. Back to the throne I am as I waddle off. Now, let us commence with today's itinerary. As you know, your role is to hear out those who come before you and use your wisdom to give counsel as the representative to the crown of Dundrasil. 
Your Majesty, let me first express to you my gratitude for granting me this audience. I have traveled all the way across the kingdom of Sniffelheim to seek it. The matter I wish to bring before you today has been greatly ex exercising the ruler of my land. He very much desires to seek the counsel of the crown of Dundrasil, paragon of peace and prosperity. Go on. It regards a royal treasure that has been handed down from generation to generation of our royal line. It is known as the Blue Orb, and alas, it is vanished, presumed stolen. King Gustav has used every means at his disposal to try to identify the thief and recover this most precious heirloom, but to no avail. However, a list of likely culprits has been identified, four to be precise. Uh, sadly, there is insufficient evidence to conclusively identify the thief. And so, we find ourselves at an impasse. So, you need to whittle down the list of suspects, but you've no clear means by which to do so. Alright, let's have a wee think. The first thing is to identify the likely motive. What reason might a person have to want their... to get their mitts on the blue orb? A treasure like that would bring in a pretty penny. A warrant, I. That'll be why the thief did it. Now, next we have to consider the matter of means. You cannot just walk in off the street and help yourself to the pride of the royal treasure house. So what kind of person could have done it? Master of Disguise. Aye, that'll be it. The thief must have disguised himself as a guard or such like and strolled right in on in without anyone looking at him twice, which leads me to conclude that our culprit is an experienced professional thief. Go back and line up your suspects. Tell them that the orb was stolen, they stole was fake, and that whoever took it must have been an amateur and a fool. Any innocent party will surely see the funny side, but one person certainly won't crack a smile. The veteran whose skills you've called into question. A marvelous display of deductive reasoning, your majesty. With your blessing, I shall return to Sniffelheim to uh, inform King Gustav of your counsel. This is your final judgment on the matter, I take it? The kingdom of Sniffelheim owes you a great debt, your majesty. I shall journey back there immediately and share your shrewd insights with the king. The envoy from Sniffelheim uh, hurries home, looking very pleased indeed. I must com commend you on your wise counsel, Lord Robert. Your advice will doubtless lead to the unmasking of the rogue who stole the treasure. Now, shall we move on to the next matter? Very good, your majesty. Then, without further delay, let me present you with the next problem requiring your attention. And final... The Sultan of Galapagos salutes the mighty kingdom of Dundrasil and all its people and sends this uh, missive penned by his most exalted hand. Mm Ahem. Your Majesty, I trust that this message finds you well. A word of the continued triumphs and glories of your kingdom reach us on a daily basis. In truth, I write seeking your counsel for, for this very reason. As you may know, the Sultanate has suffered a prolonged heat wave. The land is parched and we fear for this year's harvest. As ruler of the realm of plenty, I beseech you, share with us the secret of your prosperity that we may avert disaster. I await your reply by return of Ryder, your humble servant, the Sultan of Galapagos. The message ends there. Do you wish to... I do not wish to pressure you, your majesty, but His Excellency the Sultan was most uh, desirous of his swift response. Oh, it sounds like they've got themselves a pretty pickle over there, eh? Well, I'd better see what I can do to help then, hadn't I? Trout, prov 
Drought prevention advice, huh? Hmm. Can't say it's a problem we've ever faced over this way, if I'm honest. Well, let's start with the basis, shall we? If I'm to write a reply, I'll need to decide on the tone of the letter first. Unfailingly gracious. Uh, aye, that's probably the best way to go, eh? Now, to the tricky part. What to do in a drought? Let's weigh up the options. Offer some conventional wisdom. Let's think outside the box. Right, that's it. I've got it. Quick, take this down before I forget. My dear Sultan, I understand your kingdom is suffer suffering a bout of searingly hot weather. No doubt sales of ice cream and swimsuits are going through the roof. Of course, I do not wish to make light of your predicament. I simply wish to show you that by changing the way you think about something, you could turn crisis into an opportunity. Oh, God, I might have put the wrong... What I suggest is that you inspire your people to think of radical new ways of cooling down. Leave it to their imaginations to see what they come up with. Hopefully it will, will involve swimsuits and lots of them. That's the one. Get that all written up in your best fancy handwriting on one of those nice scrolls. A marvelous missive, your majesty, if you don't mind me saying. Now just to confirm you're happy. No! I don't like that. Let's see what it is. Oh god. For you are the brothers and sisters, and were we ever in the same position, we would expect no less in return. If we cannot come to one another's aid in the time of strife, then truly we are lost. I did not expect them to actually be that different until we got like two things in. So I just smashed through the buttons. But you know what? I like that. There were only two items. Because I'm sure you're aware there is a pugilistic tournament uh, held regularly in the town of Octav Octagonia, where fighters from all four corners of the world compete to prove their worth. Naturally, there is no shortage of young hopefuls keen to represent Jundrasil in the next grand event of this kind. To that end, I wish to present you with our kingdom's three final candidates. Who better than a fighting man like yourself, Lord Robert, to assess their potential? If it pleases your majesty, you could step forward and pick the one you think might be champion in the An interesting choice here. Indeed, your majesty, this one's a real wild one without a shred of decency or compassion for his fellow fighters. An animal who will stop at nothing to achieve victory. Grr, I can't bear some of the things people say about me. You know, I'm not that bad, honestly. So are you going to choose me or what? Yeah, we'll send you. Ah. Alright, here you go. I'm happy to report that that concludes your royal duties for today. Those here in the throne room at least but I believe King Erwin mentioned there may be troubled souls elsewhere in the castle who require your assistance may I suggest that you take a little stroll around the grounds 
Oh, but before you depart, allow me to say that it was an absolute pleasure to witness you at work today. Truly, it has been far too long. Uh, it's safe to say your kingly judgment is as sharp as it will ever was. This guy looks in thought. Ah, Lord Robert, your timing is almost uncanny. I've just this second managed to come up with the perfect name for the new baby at last. Without you, I wouldn't have had the time to properly mull it over. You've no idea how much help you've been. Since we're both uh, finished with our business for the day, why don't we head back to the throne room and wait for the good news? Your Majesty, Lord Robert... The new arrival is here. <gasps> Already? <sighs> the new arrival, that's what it's called. Congratulations, Your Majesty. It's a beautiful, bouncing baby boy. A boy. Luke Irwin. He's a fine wee chappy. A more set of lungs. We'd better hurry up and give him the name before he screams the place down. Hi. We were wondering what you thought about uh, Erdrick. Oh, it's beautiful. It sounds clever and brave and yes. <laughs> And but yes. I'd rather set my heart on something else, you know? What do you think of this for me? Oh, uh, well, it, it, it's nice, but it wouldn't exactly be my first choice. But if that's the name you've chosen, my love, then that's the name he shall have. Mighty Yggdrasil has blessed us with this beautiful boy. Please and tell me it's right. from this day forth, he shall be known as... Yggdrasil! <laughs> really? Oh, father. You had to just be louder. Sorry about that, Mom. Never mind that. Why don't you give your grandson a cuddle? A cuddle? Interesting. Turn a phrase. It's weird that both the royal family and the other people named me. Oh, they probably read the letter. Oh. You're no longer a happy camper. What, what the? Having fun? No, I'm not. Ah, Oop, sorry. What are you doing this? These places, these memories, they feel so real. <laughs> because they are real. Why is it so quiet? Something tells me I should follow the lassie and the bunny ears. Where'd she go? Where'd 
Where'd everybody go? They cannot have left without me, can they? What's all this then? <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa! Oh my Can God! We? It's it's you. Those <laughs> strawberries <laughs> are freaking huge. Congratulations! <laughs> Surprise! You didn't suspect the thing, did you? We all worked extra hard to keep it a secret. Happy birthday, Lord Robert. We've had Gondolia's finest patissiers working day and night on your cake here. I trust it will be to your taste. Many happy returns, Father. May you live a long and joyful life, watching your grandson grow into a fine young man. Oh my god, did you guys actually hear my shoulder? Oh, you... You, Pop. you shouldn't have. Congratulations, your highness. The people of Dundrasil are eternally grateful for all you've done to make this such a happy and peaceful place to live. Hear, hear! And we'll do everything we can to keep it happy and peaceful under King Arwen too. Oh, that's my boys. Aye, and a great big happy birthday to you from all the lads and lassies in the tavern, eh? <laughs> Don't forget to send word when you have a new addition or two to the royal collection of <clears throat> gentlemen's periodicals, will you, big man? Oh my God! Seriously. <sighs> my people. Oh, how I love them. Look, Ryan, are you, Grandpa? Is something mad? No, laddie. He's just so happy. Perfect. Just. So this is what it would have been like had you not uh, attacked. Come on, Grandpa, follow me. Everybody loves you, Grandpa. All of those scholars were telling me how clever you are. You're amazing. Ah, get away with you. I don't want to get. I don't want to get a big head. But it would not be a bad idea for you to mix with those bookish types, Rain. A king has to know a lot of things. I'll show you, Grandpa. I'm going to study hard until I know as much as you do. Now let's go over here. Come on, Grandpa. Wow, are they real circus performers, Grandpa? I've only ever read about them. Ah. Is that right, laddie? Well, we'll need to take a trip to Galapolis and visit the Big Top. It's quite something, let me tell you. Yay, can we really go? Promise? Aye, that's a promise. Yay, now let's go this way. Wow, look at his muscles. He looks so strong. I want to look like that one day. Do you? Well, I didn't know if you'll ever look quite like that, but you'll be tough, all right? You're my grandson, after all, and I'm no pushover. Yay, I can't wait to grow up and be big and strong just like you, Grandpa. We'll protect everyone in Dundrasil, uh, you and me and Dad. It's been lots of fun walking around with you, Grandpa, but I'm getting hungry. I know. How about a slice of cake? It was my idea to have the biggest birthday cake ever. So Dundrasil has now been destroyed, and Eleanor and Erwin are living here happily with a boy. Whatever this place is, whatever's going on, I know it. 
Thank you for not being fooled. I could stay here forever. <laughs> oh, my poor wee soldier's fallen down. Ow. Oh, there, there, wee man. There's no need for that. <laughs> That's it. It's all coming back to me. We were defeated. And then the darkness came. Good. I awoke, Keep that in mind. Alone. I prayed that my pals were still alive, but I knew I couldn't rely on that. So I set out to find a way of taking on the Lord of Shadows by myself. Yes. So, I sought out Grandmaster Pang. I was trying to convince her to train me, but... But that means all this must be. Oh, are you dead? What's the matter, Grandpa? I'm sorry, laddie. I've somewhere I need to be. Things I need to be doing. Well, what? You mean you're leaving? Yep. Aye, that's right. I hate to go. Really, I do. But maybe one day you'll understand. You be a good boy now. Something tells me you'll do just right. Let's get a heal in. I don't know. It is almost 10 o'clock here, and I probably only have about 5 or 10 more minutes. So just in case, worst case scenario, I'll only lose 5 or 10 more minutes. What's the matter, your majesty? You aren't serious about seriously about to leave a party in full swing, are you? Boundless happiness awaits you here, you know? Joy, laughter, and all manner of wonderful surprises. Are you really willing to leave it behind? I can give you what you want, your majesty. But can I ask why you want it? Because of more important things to be doing. There's a world need saving while I'm dallying here in Dreamland. Lovely as it is. I should be toughening up, not going soft in the head. I need to be with Grand Master Pang learning how to defeat the Lord of Shadows. And I need you to take me to her right now. Hmm. After all the effort I went to, honestly, do you think I like dressing up as a bunny-eared bimbo? Yes. Yes, I do. Master Pang, you can't be serious. It was you all along. Is that a lighthouse? When bright brand bores through heaven's doors, the sun shall rise o'er darkened skies. 
and banish night with a holy light. Welcome to the place where lost souls gather. The place between worlds. This is the void. And you are courageous indeed to have ventured here. Not all of my students would dare. It's an honor to see you again, Grandmaster. Contentment is complacency. Happiness is inertia. You did well to refuse its temptations. So it was all a test then? Yep. Indeed it was. But you were not deceived by my illusions. You were not seduced by the fantasy of an easy escape. It's a start. Yes! Passed with flying colors! So you'll train me, eh? Nope! Hmm. You still have not learned to listen, I see. I said it was a start. There is work to do yet if you are to prove yourself truly worthy. You what? You must show me that you have not been neglectful of your training. That you have been diligent in your daily practice. And there's only one way to truly make sure of that. By attacking you. Why do you have Why? hands? <laughs> Not the naughty stick. And you've taken to wielding two of them, I see. Oh, Crivens. I'll no get out of this without a bruise or two. The naughty but stick. If that's what it takes, then so be it. Do your worst. Yeah. <laughs> Let us begin. You must use every tool at your disposal, or else. Okay, lifts curse, automatically restores, passes some MP to an ally. A cursed incantation that sends an enemy to the hereafter. Ugh. Steals MP, forms a barrier that protects single party member. Builds a barrier around a single party member that reflects all spells. Possibly. Significantly reduce defense of a single enemy. Puts one to sleep. Reduces spell resistance to a single enemy. Slightly reduces the defense of all enemies. Wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna reduce the spell enemy. And then I am going to Zam. Oh my god. More heal. Okay, that's my best bet. So, 91 to 100. Do you believe you have what it takes to defeat A spellcaster's stance? Let's get you patched up. Surrender, you 
Oh my god. Oh no. Being enthralled. Not the greatest. You must use every tool at your disposal. Or else. Darkness, hear me! Oh, ah, dang it, I didn't mean to attack. Brings him back up. Oh, great. Fully focused now. Let the darkness consume you. I'm dead here. Pitiful performance. Is that all you? Let's see, what do I got instead? So, let's try and snooze her. I'm just gonna do the Zam. Darkness, hear me. Is it always a uh, two turn wake up? Huh? I missed. That was actually pretty close to killing me. Try the one two punch that is this. Step into a world of pain. Okay, so she's down minus two.
Oh, 115, that's not good. Let's just up one, down two. Alrighty then. Gonna get the quick heal in and then we'll attempt to take her out. I could deal with 30 damage. MP raises razor sharp icicles. That was terrible. Surrender your soul. Definitely getting a heal on because that's. When she wakes up here, that's going to be a one shot. All right, here's hoping that the snooze works. No. At least I didn't die there. Let's get you patched up. I should be within. There we go. Oh, I need a little bit. A little bit longer than I thought. Perhaps you have not been as lazy. I feared. But you are still not ready. Yeah, I am. Um... Wait. I... Still, your resolve is clear. You have shown me how much you are willing to endure in order to take on the Lord of Shadows. Perhaps you are as ready as you'll ever be. You're serious? You mean it's time? It's definitely time. It is. You will be trained in the most closely guarded secrets of our art. But were you to undergo the full course of study, the physical body you have left behind would wither and die. As such, your training must be accelerated and the work of years condensed into mere days. But it will not be easy. Are you ready to open the gates of hell and see what lies beyond? You had better be. Trust me, I am. You 
bet I am. I'm the best teacher there is to guide me, and I'll gladly follow her wherever she leads me. I am very happy to hear it. By the way, the whole bunny girl thing, you're more than a mighty convincing grandmaster, I have to say. I could have sworn he had swanned in straight off the cover of a vintage issue of the Ogler's Digest. Ogler's Digest. Hmm. <laughs> there is more to me than meets the eye, you know. I, too, was young once upon a time. <gasps> but, hang on a minute. What do you mean by that, exactly? Do not question your master. You have training to be doing. We will make it easy to begin with. Ten thousand pretas on your knuckle. Oh my God, that sounds painful. Ten thousand. Oh yeah. That's like weeks worth of push-ups. All right, I do have to get going here, so I'm going to save this uh, and call it a night. Uh, so uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, follow, whatever platform you're on, and I will see you. Oop. Dang it, there's a cutscene. His friends still live. His friends still fight. Their cause is not forlorn. The night is dark and dreadful, but we may yet see the dawn. Though Erdria is racked with darkness, suffering, and pain, the Luminary's light can shine upon this land again. Why am I at the bottom of the ocean? Who is at the bottom of the ocean? Am I a mermaid? Oh, I'm a... I'm a... a, a fish? Blub blub. Rain has lost the power of the Luminary. Awarded to the Luminary's companions for standing strong in Ardrea's hour of need. Alrighty then. Uh, like I said, uh, I am going to end it here. Uh, leave a like, uh, subscribe, follow, whatever platform you're on, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!